Hey there, YouTube. It's John, back with another review. And it's that time of year again, right before the summer, where Lay's, the potato chip company, comes out with their new flavors for the summer. They used to do, uh, what was it? Tell me a flavor, or lay on a flavor, or something where they would have a contest where people would suggest flavors, they would be voted on online, and then like four would be picked. Sometimes they did five, but the fifth one was an exclusive for some store or something. Um, and they would always have a, a wavy one and a kettle one. And they changed it over the years. Uh, do us a flavor, that's what it was. Um, and then they changed it over the years where like they did one that was like regional, and there was like seemed like 80 different flavors from all over the United States um, and then they did like an international one I think one time um, and another thing that I thought was always cool is Canada Lay's usually always, always had a different set of flavors as well and I haven't done research to find out if the Lay's Canada is doing something different but Lay's in America has three new flavors for the summer, and I got all three that I'm going to try right now. Let you know what I think. And I'm just going to grab one randomly. They're sitting to my left side. I'm just going to grab the first one that I see. This one is... Ooh, hit my pop filter. Lay's Chili Mango Flavored. And if I uh, take a look at the ingredients, let's see if I can see what the flavors come from. Uh, there's sugar and spices, salt, yeast extract, mango powder, natural flavor, citric acid, cornstarch, corn syrup, solids, dextrose, onion powder, uh, malodextrin, safflower oil, garlic powder, paprika extracts, buttermilk, and purified stevia leaf extract. If you already have sugar in there, why do we need stevia as well? Um, there's 16 carbs. Total sugars is 2. And 15 chips is a serving, by the way. So we should expect to have garlic, paprika, mango, citric acid. It's going to be like a soury flavor. Sugar and spices. Um, Buttermilk is going to be interesting. Garlic. Let's open it up. As you can see in the picture, it does look like there's some red chilies, some cubed mango. And of course, the first thing I'm going to do is give it a whiff. There's definitely a mango-like quality to that smell. And there's what they look like. They definitely look like they have a ton of flavor on them. Yeah, there's definitely a mango flavor. The chili takes a while to build up. Any kind of spice. It's kind of sweet. Kind of tangy. I would say, if you really like those like chopped up mangoes and fruits that have like the tajin and the chilies and stuff on top of them, I think you're gonna say like, I just rather have that than these chips.
I think it's like the actual potato part of this that just makes it weird. As you can see, I keep eating it, so it's not terrible, it's just weird. And if I wanted if I wanted the chili mango, I'd get chili mango. I wouldn't eat chips flavored like it. Alrighty. On to the next. Keep it in my mic going that way. Summer BLT. <coughs> Some of that spice is getting back to my back of my throat now. It's not overly spicy. It's really not spicy at all. It's just all of a sudden got to the back of my throat. So, summertime BLT. How will this taste different than the winter BLT, you ask? Let's see what flavorings we got in here. Potatoes, vegetable, oil, maledextrin, salt. Here we got sour cream, which is milk and skim milk. Cream and some skim milk. So it's going to have a creaminess to it. Sugar, tomato powder, natural flavors, spices, dextrose, whey, medium chain triglycerides, brown sugar, and pepper extracts. So, where's the bacony flavor coming from? It's got to be coming from the natural flavors and spices, and maybe the medium chain triglycerides. This has 16 carbs, only one gram of sugar. Again, 15 chips per serving. A summertime picnic classic in chip form. Lettuce, tomato, flavor, wrapped in bacony goodness. Alright, fake bacon flavors usually aren't that great, but we're going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Of course, we're going to smell it first. There's like a tomato-y and a bacony flavor to it. See, this one's more lightly looking flavored. So you're definitely hit with like a a tangy sour cream flavor. I'm going to say, this definitely works better as a chip flavor than the chili mango one did. And it, uh, weird. I just noticed there's an onion right here. That kind of threw me off when I was about to say something. There's a couple onions up there. I never really think of an onion as like a BLT thing. There's also like black pepper corns right there. Again, I don't really like crack pepper onto my BLTs either. But it does kind of have a BLT flavor to it. So, if you took like toasted white bread, put like a schmear of mayo on there, lettuce, tomato, bacon. The chip is crunchy, kind of reminds you of like a toast. The tangy sour cream kind of gives you like that mayo-like flavor. There's just enough hints of tomato and bacon flavoring in there. They really didn't overpower this with tomato and bacon flavor. Uh, I think the sour cream is really the most uh, flavor you get out of this.
So it's like mostly sour cream, but then you get like these tomatoey and bacony light flavors that come through. Um, the lettuce on the BLT is probably like the least flavorful thing anyway. I don't think they really did anything to make a lettuce flavor come out because I think that would be weird. But I like this one. The Summer BLT. My favorite out of the two I've had so far. Uh, looking forward to the Winter BLT one. And lastly, save this one for a last. I thought it looked the most interesting and probably the most complex flavor of all of them. And this is the wavy jerk chicken flavor of Lay's. And we'll take a look at the ingredients to see what are they using that we can pinpoint. Uh, potatoes, oil, extra sugar, sugar, salt, brown sugar, spices, garlic powder, tomato powder, onion powder, Natural flavors including natural chicken flavor, dried soy sauce, uh, caramel color, asia gum, yeast extract, paprika. All right. This one has like those same red peppers on the front of this one than the chili mango one did. Uh, sweet and smoky, it's traditional spicy jerk in every bag. The chicken on here looks weird. I've never had jerk chicken that looked like that. Most jerk chicken I've had is really uh, spicy. Um, I'm not expecting this to be spicy at all. This has a very sweet, herbaly kind of flavor, smell to it. Here's what it looks like. It's definitely the wavy one. Uh, has more color to it than the BLT, but not as much as a chili mango. Let's give it a taste. Definitely has a smokiness to it. Okay. Smoky. There's a bit of an umami in there. I'm guessing that's the chicken powder. And there's also a sweetness. The sweetness almost has pineapple-like flavor to it. This is okay. Of the three, this would probably the the hardest to guess what it is if you are doing a blindfold tasting. The chili mango one definitely had a mango flavor to it and some spice. The BLT one, even though it was like mostly a sour cream flavor, you can get that tomatoiness a little bit of salty baconness to it this one I don't think I would be able to guess jerk or chicken flavors from it I think that's partially due to the uniqueness of the idea of jerk chicken taco or jerk chicken chips Potato chips. I 
I would have almost guessed like this is like a spicy, smoky barbecue flavor. Which I guess makes sense for what they're going for here. Jerk chicken is kind of like a spicy, sweet, smoky flavor. Though, these are not really the chilies that I associate with jerk. Um, typically when you get jerk, you get those uh, Jamaican uh, peppers that kind of look like habaneros, and I can't remember the name of them off the top of my head. But they, they kind of look like habaneros, and they're very close in spiciness to habaneros, probably a little bit less. But they have uh, a fruity quality to them. That's it. That's the Lay's Wavy Jerk Chicken. Of the three, Summer BLT is my favorite. It's the, the most like a regular chip and the closest to what it says on the bag flavor-wise. Um, if you like the sour cream and onion, that sour cream flavor is definitely in here. It's like sour cream and like a smoky tomatoey flavor, but those tomato those flavors are or like a secondary. They're lighter, and uh, I like that. I like a a light but noticeable flavor. I will say, and I think my least favorite is probably the chili mango, just because to me that's just it's weird to be in a potato chip. Um, I guess it leaves jerk in the middle of the three because there's only three. But, if you've tried these, let me know what you think. Is Summer BLT your favorite? Have you had the Winter BLT? And if you don't know by now, I've been joking about the winter part of there. Um, I think saying Summer BLT is a little, a little weird. Just say BLT. Um, that's it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys in the next one. So long. Bye.